Welcome to Genesis Models. I'm Bill Boudreau and I hope you're all doing very well today. I've got a quick tutorial for you regarding restoring erased panel lines. As you can see here, I've got a couple airframes of some C-130 Herx. And these are the Italeri kits that are known for having raised panel line detail all the way around it. Um, also, too, being an Italeri kit, if you ever happen to build these, you know firsthand that uh, you've got a lot of seam line work to have to deal with, you know. And as you can tell here, I have destroyed every bit of raised panel lines um, all the way around this fuselage, top, bottom, so on and so forth. Um, in addressing those seam lines. But I'm not too worried about that because there is a quick technique that you can use to restore all of these panel lines. And if you could take a look at this particular uh, airframe right here, you can actually see that I've got a host of those panel lines restored already. So we're going to go through that tutorial on how to get back to that point where you've got your raised panel line detail back on the airframe. But first, I'd like to talk about some of the tools that I've used to do this. First thing that I've got here is the AK Easy Cutting Mat, uh, the Type 1 mat with just the straight lines. Um, I'm also using some Tamiya tape, of course, to go along with that cutting mat. Um, now, I use the uh, thicker width tapes, the 18 mil and the 10 mil. And the reason for using the, the, the wider tape is because I want my panel lines to be straight and with a wire tape you have less tendency to actually curve that tape on its straight edge so um, we'll go with the wider tapes and of course to go along with the the cutting mat and the tape we've got a number 11 blade here um, we also pull in some Vallejo plastic putty now really what we're doing here is we're just executing Bobby's Vallejo plastic putty technique right I mean we're just going to use the plastic putty to build that uh, raised panel line surface back up. Last thing I use is just a quick paint marker here. Um, really, this one is uh, Prismacolor Premier, and what I like about this one is that it's got a very flexible point to it. As you can tell right here, how sharp that that particular paint marker is there. Um, so. I'm using that to kind of guide where I'm going to be putting my tape lines. So let's get right to uh, restoring these raised panel lines. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to give ourselves some index marks on some panel lines that didn't get destroyed while we were doing the scraping, the filling, and the sanding process. So, you know, we've got, we've got panel lines here that we can put some index marks on. So that's where our little uh, marker comes into place with the nice fine point and, and that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to pick out a few uh, existing panel lines that are there. Let me actually kind of maybe bring you into the camera a little bit closer so you can see we've got one right here, right here, and right here that we can pick up on. So using that really fine point, I want to mark just the actual raised panel line just ever so slightly so that I can get some little indexing going on there for when I actually put my tape lines down. So usually I just put maybe a few dots on each of these lines. I try not to get onto the airframe itself because again these guides, these index marks, they really um, mark where I'm going to be putting my tape lines. We'll get some marks on that one. Sorry if I'm a little off camera here a little bit. Just got to kind of get some good uh, eyeballs on what I'm doing here. There as well. And let's do this one too. All right, so there you can see it. We've got some index marks right there on the different raised panel lines that we are going to be restoring. And I'm going to show you a couple different techniques to do this with, with tape. But first I'm going to start off with the 10 mil Tamiya tape. Um, and really it's just as simple as just ripping the tape as long as you want. And then we'll, we'll get the tape aligned on both sides of the panel line. Let me bring this over here so you can see what I'm doing and get some focus. 
All right, so I'm just eyeballing in on those index marks. I'm not putting it over the index marks because those index marks are actually on the panel line. I'm just putting it adjacent to those index marks right there. And then I'm just going to wrap my tape around and get it lined up with the other index marks. So right there, I just kind of covered my index marks. So I'm just going to peel it back and just really get that tape right on the side of that existing panel line that didn't get destroyed. Let's go ahead and rub down the surface of our tape. And let's do that again, but on the other side of the panel line. Bring it back over here. All right, this takes a little bit of fiddling to do. Hopefully you can see that. Again, I'm still leaving my index marks exposed. And that's really going to help me get the width of that raised panel line. As long as I don't cover those index marks that I placed on the raised panel line itself. Same thing too, I'm making sure that my tape line is straight. And there we go, we're lined up with those other index marks. So what you have here is you have a gap that should be consistent all the way across your airframe. And go ahead and press those down. And we're all set. So the next thing that we're just going to do is grab our Vallejo plastic putty. And we're just going to goop that right in between the panel lines here. I'm not worried about putting too much down. I'm not worried about, you know, putting too little down. I'm just being generous right here. And I don't mind getting a little messy across both pieces of tape. Right? So it doesn't really matter there. Just keep going till we get the whole area that we want to get. Just a little more on that side. All right. There we go. Nice and messy, but I think it's going to work out just fine. Uh, we're also going to grab, uh, I've got some cotton wool buds here. That's what Bobby likes to call them. I just call them cotton swabs, q-tips, whatever you want. Uh, give it a good lick. And we're just going to wipe away. I go at a 45 degree angle and we're just going to wipe away the excess here. Again, we don't have to be too thorough. It doesn't have to be crazy clean. We're just getting the excess out. And if you realize that during the course of your wiping, you wipe too much away from in between your, your tape marks, um, go ahead and take your uh, cotton wool bud and rub it back the other way to fill it back in. And then go ahead and be a little more gentle in removing that. So there you go, we got that. Let's go ahead and remove our tape. You don't necessarily have to wait for this to dry. Get that back on our cutting board. You can use these pieces of tape for the next panel line. And there you go, you can see yourself a restored panel line. Oh, this camera doesn't like to focus too well, but you can see yourself a nice restored panel line right there. If you find that it's a little too, too uh, uh, raised from the surface of your airframe, you know, by all means, you've got the ability to sand it down just a little bit once it dries. And the other thing too is, you know, make sure you don't smudge it. Um, it is wet, it is dry, you put a finger on it, you're going to flatten it back out again. Um, and maybe that's something that you could do if you're in this type of situation where I'm in is kind of plan which, before you actually start laying down some plastic putty, plan which panel lines you're going to do before the others. So maybe you can start off at the front and, and uh, get that one set and then come over to the rear so you don't risk smudging the one you just completed and then keep alternating. and or whatever kind of pattern you could do to plan out so that you can keep moving with your raised panel lines. So I'm going to show you a second technique that you could do with the tape um, and we're going to do a second line and a third line with this particular technique here and that's where we're pulling in our AK Easy Cutting Man. I'm just going to get rid of these pieces of tape right here. And this is where we're going to come in with our wider 18 mil tape, right? Um, and we're just going to lay 
um, a quick piece of tape here. Now the lines that I'm going to use on these cutting mats, you can see that there's different widths that you can go throughout the throughout the cutting mat. So we're going to go with the finest width because that is about representative of the the width of our panel line that we would like to restore. So I'm just going to lay down one piece of tape towards the edge of our board here. And before I lay another piece of tape, I'm actually going to find a nice um, recess here that I can cut a slit out in. This kind of gets tricky because it's not like you can really see through the tape and you don't want to come from the edge. So we got one there. So we'll kind of pick that up and that's going to be about the width of our, or not the width, but the length of our panel line that we want to we want to roll with. And then I'm going to try to get the recess in the cutting board that's right next to this one. So we got that there. I'm flip that around and re-catch that one. All right, what we have here is we have a nice uh, piece of tape with a little slit, which is basically the width of our panel line that we're going to do. And what I did on this is uh, I actually covered it with a second piece of tape and cut you know the same size slit through it using the same uh, cutting board guidelines and this will allow us to kind of build up the panel line a little bit thicker um, or a little more off of the surface of the airframe so uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this piece of tape here let me uh, get this off of our cutting mat and I like this procedure a little bit better because it's a little more efficient in getting the different panel lines done at a faster pace too and then this is where your index marks really come in handy is because you could take a look right through let's come over here you can take a look right through the slit and line that up with the black index marks that we created right at the beginning so we'll go right there sorry about that had you off camera and then we'll line that up with the other black marks right there hopefully you can kind of see those marks through our slit that is our raised panel line rub these down and let's go ahead with the putty technique right here as well we're just gonna goop it in there kind of got a dry tip there yeah that happens with this tube we'll go ahead and get in there and goop some out again could care less if you're messy or not We'll get that all the way across. Good to go there. And let's get our cotton swab. Give it a good look. And again, our 45 degree angle. And let's go ahead and wipe off. And I had a little too much putty, I think, on there. So I'm just going to wipe off the side so that we can move right away into the next one. So there we go. We've got that there nicely done. Let's go ahead and remove our tape. And there you go. Another nice raised panel line right there. And because we have this slit, uh, slotted tape here, we can actually just jump right into uh, the last panel line that we'll do right here. Um, so we'll get that lined up. Here, let me come over here. Got our index marks right there, as you can tell. So we'll go ahead and get this slot right in there. And we will slide this over to the other index marks. Let me jump over here. Sorry, I'm going to kind of get my head right over this thing. Okay, there we go. We've got that on there. Let's go ahead and get our putty down. Use a little bit less this time. Coop it all in there. Be generous. Go right ahead. Get your cotton swab and go ahead and wipe away the excess. And again, I'm not really pressing down too much. I'm just gently rubbing it across the surface. And 
and there we go. We should have number two done, or number three rather, right there. Okay, a little bit on the thin side, I think, for that one, but that's okay. We can cover that back right up with the piece of tape and run right over it again. So there you have it, a real quick technique on restoring raised panel lines, just using some simple Vallejo plastic putty and some tape as your guide to be able to do that. So if you're one of those individuals that kind of steers away from kits that have raised panel lines um, because you're in fear of maybe ruining them and sanding them down when you're addressing some seam lines and things, I would encourage you not to necessarily steer away from, from kits that might have that type of detail. You know, and there are a host of kits that have both, ra both raised and recessed panel lines. Well, this technique can help you restore those raised, uh, those raised portions as well. So, thank you for watching this little tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.